Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Ball. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. Guys, I'm doing a video now, a crypto update from home on my balcony. And that is because it's a beautiful sunny day here in Melbourne. And I did not feel like going into the office today because it's Sunday. We need to relax and get some sun. I've been sitting out here for a while. Anyway, there's a lot happening with Ripple and XRP. There's a bullish video on Twitter that I want to play every single one of you because I think it's very important for every one of you that hates XRP. And you're going to be uh, proven wrong with that one because it's an absolute monster. And that is why I hold it and why it is the chosen one. I'm going to go through everything, guys. So let's get straight into the video. And I do apologize about the awkwardness here, but let's go to my YouTube. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because I love doing these videos on a daily basis, documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. We're just getting started. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find, ladies and gentlemen, do that, all right? So give it a good old thumbs up. It's down there. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free. Thank you very much. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye, especially in crypto, right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Let's go straight to the community tab right now. And I'm gonna show you some interesting stuff here, guys. And of course, I've seen so many comments in the, you know, from messages, DMs on Instagram and Twitter, guys. I will never ask you to message on WhatsApp or Telegram. There's a lot of fake accounts with my, you know, pretending to be me. It's not me. The only official accounts are listed below, guys. The Wall Street Bull Oz, but with an O and a Z, is my official Instagram and obviously all the social media um uh, apps guys everything is listed below please make sure you follow the correct ones now these are the old coins that were up today obviously reserve rights is pumping you've got xlm as well tlm dag and xdc were up as well some interesting statistics in the united states one percent of the global population that controls one seventh of the world's total assets is 76.4 million people they are the ones that control everything that is insane absolutely insane now, let's go to, um, obviously, uh, CoinSpot, guys, because I want to show you, I'll get a bigger screen here, I want to show you, obviously, uh, the coins that I love, and uh, we'll go through the prices today, and they are in Australian dollars, just to clarify. Let's go to CoinSpot. Give me one second, guys. All right, here we are right here. Let's go to CoinSpot, and I do apologize if it's on the side. I'm, I'm going to go through my favorite coins. There is a referral link below for CoinSpot. Please feel free to use that. You will get $10 in Bitcoin. And you're going to see one of the most insane Bitcoin price predictions I think you've ever seen in your life. Just bear with me, all right? But all these prices are in AUD. Everything else is set to USD. Now, let's have a look at Bitcoin. $30,500 today on a Sunday in Australia, down 0.6%. I'm not worried at all. This is going to be a huge asset. And I'm now I'm starting to believe why Michael Saylor is buy, buying so much Bitcoin. Anyway, Ethereum's at 2,100, guys. XRP's at up slightly today to 76 cents. Cardano is at 69 cents. Solana's at $52. Uh, dollars. Doge is at $0.09 cents as well. Polkadot and Matic at $1.23. You've got Dot at $10, sorry. Shiba Inu, there's some interesting ha stuff happening with Shiba Inu as well. They're actually building another um, blockchain as well. And Bone is going to be incorporating that. So please just have a look at Shiba Inu because this might actually pump like crazy. Not financial advice. I'm still holding mine though. Links at $11 as well. Bullish guys, massive partnerships with Swift. You've got Adam at $20. You've got Stellar at $0.19 cents right here. Near protocols at $5. Algorand's at $0.57. Cents. Moving down, Luna Classic is pumping again, guys. Again, I've got a trading bot working on that on three commas, by the way. Uh, making some nice profits, which is good. V chain up slightly to three cents. Quant is back down to two hundred and twenty-one dollars, which again is still insanely good. 
I bought this at $80. And this is the reason why I document the prices on my channel every day. Hadere's at $0.09, cents, Manor's $1.11, Sandbox $1.34. You've got Theta at $1.70, Aave $119. Axe Infinity is down slightly today to $20. I am staking this. I did throw in another Gorilla. And uh, for those of you who don't know what a, uh, a Gorilla is, guys, it is, um, excuse me, it is a thousand uh, dollars, so one grand. That's why I call it a gorilla. Anyway, let's move on, guys, to obviously the other coins here. You've got IOTA at 47 cents. You've got the graph at 15 cents. Helium as well is down nearly 6% today to $8. Neo's at $14 as well. Engine, I am looking to add that in the portfolio, 72 cents. Waves at $6. XDC's up now, passing 5 cents, all right? I've been dollar cost averaging into XDC and have a big holding of this. All right, so again, it's still undervalued. I'm telling you, you're missing opportunity here. Rose is at $9 as well. ENS is at $24. Some other favorites, of course. Harmony One, I do hold that at $0.03. Cents. And of course, we have Gala Games, which I'm not sure where that is at the moment. Let me, did I pass that, guys? There it is. It's so dark, can't even see it in there. Six cents, all right? Now, let's go to, and I'm sorry, I'm going to flip this camera around right here. There you go. All right, so let's go to Crypto Bubbles now and see what's going on in the market. Sorry about the phone, guys, again. This is just easier for me to do this from home because it's just so much easier. Now, let me try and uh, refresh this right now. And obviously, you've got RSR up pumping today, which is insane as well, guys. Let's turn the phone here. Sorry, I do apologize. 17% on the day, 16% on the week, 55% on the month. Still incredibly cheap, guys. Was trading at five cents. Is now under one cent USD. Luna Classic, guys. I mean, that's just insane. 9.5% on the day, 45% on the week, 20% on the month. You can obviously see where it was previously at $110. I don't think we will go back to that, but I do think that it maybe will be close to one cent. All right. And I just, you know, I'm just saying. Obviously, you've got here XLM as well, guys, up 5.8% on the day, 2.1% on the week, and 17.4% on the month. Very, very bullish, guys. And again, I love these opportunities now because when I like to buy my cryptos is obviously when, you know, the markets are quiet, aka on a Sunday night here in Australia and Monday morning, you know, basically the same in the United States, all right? Now, let's go here, guys, because I want to show you this. Obviously, Ripple gains massive support. Will this make Ripple a winner? All right, so... They're getting a lot of support from big companies that are actually partnering with Ripple, all right? They are actually doing that, all right? So it gains immense support. On the other hand, the latest development comes around. Many other independent firms are trying to sneak into the XRP lawsuit. As per legal professor, uh, Professor James Filan, the global payment platform I remit has filed an application to uh, an amicus brief in the XRP lawsuit, which I covered yesterday. I remit has come forward to portray their stance against the SEC by giving briefs supporting Ripple defendants. All right, it's not just I remit. There was another application submitted by Tapjets to file an amicus brief. Tapjets is basically a private jet company uh, accepting XRP's payment. All right, so as per the firm, XRP payment is playing a huge role in its company. As of now, John Deaton is acting as the amicus curiae, uh, curiae where he is representing XRP holders in the lawsuit. As more and more support is being raised towards Ripple, it is most likely that the SEC will raise an objection against the move. Also, all of the applicants will not be accepted, which again is going to be very, very annoying. Now, if obviously, if I go here, guys, some other news, guys, let's move on. Now, you've got a U.S. Senator bill seeks to cushion crypto exchanges from SEC enforcement actions, which is very interesting for United States Senator. So Bill Haggerty right here, a member of the Senate Banking Committee, introduced legislation seeking a safe harbor for crypto exchanges from certain Securities and Exchange Commission SEC enforcement actions. Of course, Gary Gensler, the lizard man. So the daily trading clarity, uh, so the trading, uh, da digital trading Clarity Act of 2022, introduced by Senator Haggerty, aims to provide regulatory clarity around two primary concerns plaguing crypto exchange establishments. One, the classification of digital assets, and two, related liabilities under existing securities laws. Keep an eye on this because it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens here, guys. Now, obviously, if you've got here, guys, the airdrop is happening. I forgot to cover this before, but the airdrop is incoming for Flare. Uh, obviously, guys, so keep an eye on this as well. So the Flare token giveaway, you can see down here. 
So Flair is hinting that the long-awaited Spark Flair token airdrop to XRP holders is just around the corner with a new announcement to validators. The company notes the new schedule that the validators can now onboard for Flair Network. Flair also says it's currently working to onboard crypto exchanges to ensure the airdrop is as seamless as possible. Provided enough validators take up their roles, Flair plans to distribute the Flair tokens between October 24th and November 6th. The company says the exact date depends on the feedback from exchanges. Keep an eye on this, guys. So with its native Flair token, aims to essentially bring smart contract capabilities to various blockchain networks, starting with XRP and Litecoin. Very, very interesting stuff here, guys. Keep an eye on that as well. Now, well, obviously, you've got David Rubenstein says crypto is not going away, as some people thought. The co-founder and co-chairman of private equity giant Carlyle Group claims that crypto skeptics will be proven wrong, and I agree with him. In a new interview with Citadel CEO Ken Griffin, David Rubenstein says he believes that the crypto assets are here to stay. So check this out, guys. I now think that crypto is not going away the way some people have thought. While he hasn't bought any crypto assets, Rubenstein says he's making indirect investments in the digital asset industry. I've not invested in cryptocurrencies, but I have invested in my family office through companies that service the industry. Of course, he's holding crypto. Anyway, now check this crazy price prediction out, guys. Former hedge fund manager predicts Bitcoin will trade at $12.5 million in a decade. A former hedge fund manager has made a massive Bitcoin price prediction, estimating that the flagship cryptocurrency will be trading at $12.5 million per coin in a decade after the collapse of the US dollar. And I think that's coming. Honestly, I really do. And I'm not making this up. It's just madness. Now, in an interview on Altcoin Daily, first reported by Daily Hodl, Robert Breedlove, right, CEO and founder of cryptocurrency investment firm Parallax Digital, says that the flagship cryptocurrency will explode until 2031, while the US dollar will crater. And I think that's going to happen. I really do. I'm not joking, guys. I really think the US dollar is going to collapse and world economies are going to be absolutely destroyed basically because of inflation and rising prices. Now, I just want to refresh this here, guys, because blockchaincenter.net here is a great platform. We're at 61 in the altcoin season right here. And if I do refresh this right now, this website has a tendency to just play absolute games. Anyway, so I just want to point out that Lido Dow is one of the top cryptos performing, and yes, XRP is in there, guys, but we are sitting at the 61 on the altcoin season at the moment, which again, we're moving back towards Bitcoin. And of course, if I go to cryptometer.io, let me refresh this again. Every time I record videos, there's always something. It's either a bird or an alarm or a helicopter or a plane. It's crazy. Luna Classic. You've got uh, VR right here, Uni. You've got Algorand, XRP, which is nice to see that. And of course, you've got Bitcoin and Ethereum and Dai and Jasmine. Anyway, let's go to Twitter because I do want to play this interview right here because I think it's very important for all of you to see this and explains exactly why I'm so bullish on XRP. Have a listen to this. Thank you very much to notfinancialadvice.crypto for this video. And they use XRP. In 2013, the Federal Reserve began looking for faster payments options. Two years later, an action plan was born and a Federal Payments Task Force was created. It included one company focused on crypto, Ripple. In 2014, the World Bank and Better Than Cash Alliance, which includes the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Clinton Global Initiative, and the governments of 32 countries put out a report called the Opportunities of Digitizing Payments. One year later, the Better Than Cash Alliance featured one crypto company on their website, Ripple. Today, Better Than Cash Alliance and all other UN initiatives are focused on a single agenda, the Sustainable Development Goal for 2030. You can see the SDGs logo on Bill Gates' lapel, world-leading companies, the Better Than Cash Alliance website, and on the UN's official exchange, Exchange. What crypto is Exchange officially utilizing for their carbon credit solution? XRP. The world will move to a new international standard for exchanging electronic messages between financial institutions by 2025 called ISO 20022. Who is the first ISO 20022 member focused on distributed ledger technology? Ripple. Who's partnered with over 300 financial institutions, including Bank of America, American Express, PNC, Santander, SBI, HS, SBC, Standard Chartered Bank, Bank of England, India, Singapore, Scotland, Australia, and Indonesia, the largest banks in Japan, Canada, Egypt, the Middle East, United Arab Emirates, Thailand, Morocco, Bhutan, South Korea, Brazil, and Latin America, Ripple, who is a former employee overseeing the Federal Reserve, Ripple, a former employee overseeing the world's largest asset manager, BlackRock's Digital Asset Division, Ripple, leading Australia's CBDC effort, Ripple, who hired a former Treasury of the United States, Ripple, two former Federal Reserve attorneys to their board, Ripple, two former Clinton and Obama advisors, former Minister of Defense and Economics of Germany, former business director at Swift, former Swift board member, former CFO of PayPal, former head of the DTCC, former chief business officer at Uber, former VP of Amazon.
Amazon and former SEC chair on their legal team, Ripple, who's a member of the Digital Pound Foundation, Digital Dollar Project, Digital Euro Association, Mojaloop, IMF's High Level Advisory Board on FinTech, Hyperledger Blockchain Consortium, Open Payments Coalition, Faster Payments Council, Global Payment Steering Group, Cross Border Working Group, International Association for Trusted Blockchain Applications, Crypto Climate Accord, University Blockchain Initiative, World Wide Web Consortium, and a featured partner of the World Economic Forum with three members of their team directly listed on the WF website, Ripple. Now, does Ripple and XRP sound like they're going to disappear, or do they... Uh, that's incredibly bullish as anything, guys. Anyway, moving on, if that doesn't make you bullish, I don't know what is. Now, guys, not sure if this got much attention as it deserves. The Commission of CFTC visits Ripple offices, all right, and then travels to London to meet with the Bank of England to discuss CBDCs and crypto. XRP must have been discussed. We already know that they are working with the Digital Pound Foundation, all right? Bullish. Now, guys, obviously, CoinSpot here has made a very bullish list of eco-friendly coins Cardano, Hedera, Stellar, Algorand, and IOTA. They need to add XRP, XDC onto this list. And uh, Quant, of course, and I will be buying this for sure every single week. All right, and it's going to make it a lot easier as well because you can just split up like one single payment. Now, the Howey test, thank you, Riz, for this tweet. The Howey test says that an investment contract exists when these four conditions are met, investment of money in common enterprise with the exception of profit to be derived from the efforts of others. For the SEC to win the suit, Judge Sarah Epburn must determine that the aforementioned four points are met. If she determines that one or multiple points are not met, Ripple will win the lawsuit, all right? They're going to win. ABC Australia is reporting that a major investment bank is on the brink with no names mentioned. Very interesting right here. ENS names have surpassed 2.6 million, which is crazy. Will the US dollar follow the, follow the English pound sterling? I believe it will. I believe the US dollar will crash in January 2023 after the Fed pivots to profit from cash from, of US dollars. I bought many more US silver buffalo rounds. Silver is a bargain and I will not be a victim of the effed Fed right here. Take care. Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 24 right now. Solana Network has stopped processing transactions due to an outage. And there's 1.833 million Bitcoin left to be mined, which is absolutely crazy. And yes, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. I have been for a long time, as well as all my ISO 222 coins. Now, if I go to Coin Market Cap right now, and I'm going to refresh this right here. $934 billion total market cap right here. $36 billion US dollars in total volume. That is extremely low. Perfect time to buy right now. And I will do that today. 39% BTC, 17% Ethereum. And of course, if I go to my watch list, this is where my money's going. All right, straight up. Yes, I bought Axie. I bought Ethereum. But I am putting more money into these guys. XRP, Cardano, XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, IOTA, XDC, Casper, and Alliance Block. That is where my money is going, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, that is pretty much it for today's market update. And thank you very much for sticking around. Yes, this is my uh, Mandarin tree that I'm growing. Citrus trees actually bring good luck. So if you are watching this, go buy yourself a lemon tree, sit it in your front of your house or an orange tree. Very, very good luck. All right, that's it, guys. Have a good day and a good weekend. We'll speak to you on Monday. Peace out. Take care. Bye.